Hey guys, Larry here again, um, doing another uh, demonstration on how to tie a knot that um, well, a lot of, most of these knots have been around for you know, probably thousands of years. Um, this one is actually one that um, is uh, called a, uh, a bowline or a bowline. Uh, there's two different versions. There's a uh, stationary and a uh, uh, running, a running bowline. Um, I'll show in the next video, but this one's for the uh, stationary. So you'd have a piece of rope um, that you would turn around, and I'm going to use the leg of my bench here. You go around it, and on the part of the rope that's opposite of your tail you're going to flip it up so that way it forms a loop and the rope crosses over the top of the part of the uh, rope that's attached to the tail and then what you're going to do is you're going to go take the tail you're going to go up through you're going to cross over the top of this one and go behind that one so it'd look something like this and then you're just going to tuck it back down through the hole allowing you to grab where it comes up through and where it goes back down through the hole and you'd be able to pull it tight and cinch it down and it makes what's known as just a, a standard bowl and knot. So I will demonstrate that one more time. This time I'm going to give myself a little more slack. So you go around an object. Um, I use this for uh, um, when I was doing tree work. Uh, my uh, uh, my snap for snapping onto my saddle, I would use a standard bowline knot for uh, tying that onto my climbing line. And basically I would go, you know, through the, the ring on the, on the snap, which is similar to going around the table leg here. Flip it. If you grab it where your pinky is up, towards the, the tail end that goes around whatever object and grab with your thumb and your index finger and just rotate your wrist over. You'll make that loop where it will cross over the top of the end that's attached to the tail. Then you go up through the loop. You cross over the top of this one and go behind that one and back down through the loop and pull it tight and you get your bowling knot. Now obviously you can adjust you know how close you're tied up to something or whatever but for demonstration purposes I'm uh, doing it so that way you guys can you know see what I'm doing. So that is how you tie a, a standard bowline knot. You guys have a good day, and I'll keep coming out with videos as often as possible.